honoring Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, sure, why not? So, I was there with the... Did they get Pokemon Presents? I don't think so. I forgot how it was played out. But I can tell you, I was stuck in college because fuck damn it, you guys freaking screwed me over. And because of that, I was there and I was right there glued to my screen. It's like, oh my gosh, they got something Pokemon related for you just waiting for you. It's like, all right, I can't wait. And then they said it's a brand new freaking game coming. Pokemon X and Y. No way! For the Nintendo 3DS. Motherfucker! It's like, yeah, because, you know, I had the Nintendo DSi. I didn't have really any reason why to upgrade it. The 3D function on the Nintendo 3DS is not good for children so what you think happens when it comes to adult eyes especially ones who actually does have glasses on so I was like okay I'll just wait until they have an alternative maybe <laughs> it's like or hope the good graces they have like some new fixed version of it and well the good news is that they decided to give us the brand thing that was awesome, which was the 2DS. And I'm like, awesome! Unlike the previous time and before, you know, the whole thing of car accident got money. I actually got the Nintendo DS Lite for Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl. And I got it like months in advance. It's like that was awesome. This one is more like it actually is released at the same damn time. And I bought it at freaking Kmart. Rest in peace, Kmart. I hope it's still there, but I think it's gone. So, yeah, I got that. I got the games from. Did I get them from GameStop? I think I did get them from GameStop. Yeah, so I got them from GameStop, and I got the 3DS and 2DS, and then as soon as I got home, I started playing them. It was a wondrous experience. It was very, very fun. X and Y was the best. You're like, it really, it was the best. This was like a new, fresh air, even though they they had like one save thing that can corrupt your game, and there was one game, one a few cartridges out there that if you do certain thing, it turns out the all the Pokemon have been unlocked on that cartridge, which is like, what? And, well, the crazy part has to be just like what happened with, and it turns out that Black and White or Black 2 White 2 did not have an event to be activated. Same with X and Y, where um, Floretal, I think, does it? I don't care, okay? Leave me alone about the whole name thing, okay? So as they were like, we move Pokemon to Cartoon Network. And now I don't know how to say Pokemon's names. Do you think that was a smart idea, bastards? It's like, she just allowed them to still have on Kids WB, then I'll be able to actually pronounce their Pokemon names without it being on freaking Cape, freaking Kids WB. I don't know how to say shit. Even though I did have Cartoon Network at that point. It's like, yeah, I did have Cartoon Network, but whatever, freak it. Just freaking freak all y'all. <laughs> so, let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to remember. So, hmm. Ah, we're just going to still go with the same story I said. So, basically... And I think there was some other mystery that was going to happen because there are locked doors. And given it's like, hey, Pokemon, there's locked doors all the damn time. There's some buildings you can't actually get into. It's like, yeah, but why would it say the door is locked if if it was actually just a freaking building? You wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So I was pretty sure that Volcanion is in the game, even though, no, they, they data mined, they know that Volcanion existed, but it, it was nothing that said that he was in behind that door, which I'm like, I'm pretty sure he was behind that damn door, okay, I'm pretty sure, because all the other legendaries in this series, in this game, this um, region, 
I think they were all given to us. There was none that actually were unlockable that was in the game. They just gave them to us. And that was the start of the new trend that they just give us the Pokemon. We don't even do anything where it's like, oh, you give us an item, we unlock it, and we go in, and now we go after a Pokemon. It's like, no, brand new region, brand new generation, we just give you Pokemon. And that's the craziest part about X and Y, especially since it's like, oh, we got our anniversary, and it just kept on giving us legendaries after legendaries after legendaries. Um, Ruby... Ruby and Sapphire's remake gave us legendaries. They haven't stopped. Well, finally, they did stop. No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Because Sword and Shield even did the same shit, too. So it's like, I think with Scarlet and Violet, they stopped. I really hope they just take a moment and stop giving us legendaries. <laughs> just, just please stop. You gave them Pokemon Home. We don't need to get the old legendaries back up here again. Okay, so allow us to have at least a few generations with no legendaries being involved that was in past regions. Please, just just please stop. Okay, it was fun at first, but it got pretty like taxing and unfortunate that there's the legendaries just the legendaries are all over here. It's like, oh my gosh, just please stop. Please stop. Just stop, please. Please stop. Other than that, for X and Y, it was good. It was fun. I didn't get to do my usual things, which is, of course, mastering with water types and grass types and fire types, which I haven't done a fire type run ever since Pokemon Red. That was the only one, and that was it's like all freaking damn games suck. <laughs> The only way I can actually do all fire types is be crazy enough to be like, I hatched all my starters. I have six starters and they all, it's like, I kind of want to do that. I kind of sort of want to do that. And technically with Pokemon X, I had like a full team of Frokies. Yeah, like a full team of them. I was like, I would like to do that somewhere one time. But it's like, yeah, the messed up part is the whole hatching the eggs and stuff. It's like, that's hard to do. Yeah, not to mention that they will maybe disobey you at one point. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't freaking know. But Pokemon X and Y being 10 years old, it's not that bad as the whole thing of motherfucker, damn it, I gotta buy a new damn console, new handheld motherfucker. <laughs> it's like right now I'm good. So the shield gave me something. I'm good for now, but I'm pretty sure the next one around the horizon might fuck me over. But hey, X and Y did great. <laughs>